Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got something a little bit different for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how I make my DIY tea tree oil setting spray. Okay, so you're going to need a few items. You're going to need a funnel, an empty bottle with a nozzle, 100% natural witch hazel, glycerin, and this is vegetable glycerin, tea tree oil, and this needs to be 100% pure tea tree oil, water, I am using alkalized water, but you can use distilled. You would also need a tablespoon measure. To be honest, with my oily skin, so most of the setting sprays that I see out there, they really don't do much for my for my complexion, and they're super expensive. I love that I can make this spray, and it is so inexpensive, and it's gonna last me a really, really long time. I have had this bottle of glycerin and this bottle of witch hazel that cost me a dollar from the Dollar Tree for about, I don't know, about eight months. So it definitely lasts a long time, you guys, and I absolutely love it. So this is actually just one of the formulas that I use on the daily. This is one that I've been doing more recently here. Um, but I am going to be showing you how to make this one, and then also I will be putting in the description box below how to make my basic formula, which is the one that I use when I am spraying my brushes or when I really don't feel like adding tea tree oil to my face on the day. So okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our bottle, we're going to grab our funnel, and we're going to be adding our water. Now, like I said, I'm using alkalized water just because the pH level is so much better. Um, it is, I believe, like a 12, and I really feel like this makes my skin feel so much better. I also drink um, alkalized water, so yeah, this is the best thing for you. So I'm adding here a couple of tablespoons. And like I said in the description box below, you're going to be seeing the whole entire uh, recipe. So then I'm going to be adding my witch hazel. And to this, you're going to be adding two tablespoons of witch hazel. And you're going to be putting one tablespoon of glycerin. You can add more glycerin to your DIY setting spray. I wouldn't recommend it if you're oily. If you're a dryer, you can add more glycerin. If you're extremely oily, you can definitely um, add a little bit less. I use about a tablespoon and it works out great for me. Um, if you're just making this spray just to, mag to just to magnify that sheen in your shadows, I would recommend also adding more glycerin just because it's going to make it pop out a lot more. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add tea tree oil. So, um, you, I would definitely recommend if you are going to, if you don't know how your skin reacts to tea tree oil, I would definitely start off with just one because you can always add more, but you can never take away. I started off with two just because my skin is extremely acne prone and, um, I actually ended up adding a couple more on camera. You see me adding two drops of tea tree oil, but I actually ended up using five. Like I said, it all depends on your skin. Definitely, definitely always you do a patch test for whatever you do, especially if you're doing DIYs. Okay, and so once you've added your drops of tea tree oil, you're just gonna put the lid back onto the bottle and give it a good shake to mix up all the products. Okay guys, so that's it. That's all you need in order to for you to make this DIY tea tree oil setting spray. So yeah, I absolutely love this DIY tea tree oil one. And now this is my basic one. This bottle um, is a little bit bigger, so I actually just doubled the recipe. This one is the one that I use to wet my brushes for when I need to add more life into my shadows, more that sheen. So this is the one that I use. It is basically the same thing, doubled just minus the teacher oil because I do use this on my eyes. I have a couple of more uh, DIY setting sprays that I'll be doing as well just because I love to experiment with them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that you're fearfully and wonderfully made and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.